I'm Lieutenant Nick Jadon with the 16th Airlift Squadron uh, based out of uh, Joint Base Charleston. Um, I'm here in support of Mobility Guardian 23, which is a huge exercise in the Indo-Pacific, um, working with our, our partners. Uh, so I'm a pilot uh, on the C-17 Globemaster. Um, we are responsible for uh, airlift operations, um, aerial refueling, uh, aeromedical evacuation, um, global uh, airlift uh, control, command and control. Um, right now, working in the Indo-Pacific and flying uh, with our Australian partners. Um, so that's been a super cool experience, uh, getting to fly with them, share our uh, T TTPs, our uh, tactics, techniques, and procedures. Um, learning from them, uh, learning how they um, how they uh, do mission planning, uh, down to execution, different things with their airspace, um, really being able to max perform uh, the aircraft and how uh, we train uh, with them. So it's been really cool to see uh, just like swapping seats with them and literally flying like uh, one Australian pilot and one uh, American pilot together has been uh, really cool to see. Yes, yeah, so that matters a lot because it demonstrates um, that we are so interoperable that we can uh, just join together as allies and um, uh, go take care of the mission, whatever it is. So uh, when it actually first first started, uh, even before we left here, um, we did a whole mission planning cell uh, with the Australians um, down to like when our takeoff was going to be, what we were going to do just to uh, get to Brisbane, um, and some of the uh, formation maneuvers that we were going to like practice on the way there. Um, we flew there as a two ship, landed, uh, and then um, woke up the next day, briefed up the plan for uh, what we flew on Sunday, uh, and then went out and executed it. Uh, it started off with uh, taking off as a two ship. Uh, we had uh, in my jet, um, it was uh, our aircraft commander and uh, one of the Australian co pilots. And then in the other jet, it was their aircraft commander and one of our co pilots. Uh, so that was kind of cool. We took off, uh, went up and flew out to an air refueling track, uh, met up with a KC 46 and uh, did some air refueling. So that was super cool for the Australians because that was their first time uh, getting to uh, air refuel off of a 46. Um, so they don't get to see that really ever. Um, and it was, it was really cool seeing, uh, seeing them succeed so well in it because I uh, just expected, you know, maybe some challenges, whatnot, of being the first time uh, seeing that, but they um, demonstrated, you know, the ability to do that just as, as easily as our pilots do. After that, we uh, split up with the tanker and went uh, to do a couple of airdrops. Uh, we didn't have any actual like cargo that we were dropping. Um, it was just uh, just for practice and training. Um, but so we went in, did a, uh, a practice personnel airdrop um, with a reattack for a heavy airdrop, um, switching pilots like the whole time. Uh, so that was super cool uh, to see as well. Um, just how how it was the same uh, the same. Uh, procedure either way, um, and uh, building the confidence that if I were to fly with an Australian pilot in the future, um, you know, we're just as capable uh, together as we are separate. After that, we went and uh, flew a low level through uh, some a mountain range um, in Australia, uh, and that was super neat because uh, it was a, a really like deep valley with a nice like river flowing through it. So it was super pretty uh, scenery, um, and just be able to do that uh, in formation with another jet was something that we don't uh, don't get to see every day. Um, and so we did uh, did a bunch of maneuvers following the terrain, um, practicing a, uh, a technique called terrain masking. Uh, and that's just one of the um, that's one of our one of our uh, mission sets, one of our capabilities. So to be able to practice that with them is is cool. And then uh, we actually did that uh, that low level a couple times because it was uh, it was a lot of fun and really good practice. So we cycled all the uh, pilots through the seats again, um, just so that everybody got a chance to fly it, and uh, then headed home and did a, a formation arrival together. So. Uh, honestly, that flight was probably probably my favorite part about this. Um, being able to work with the Australians was a super rewarding experience. It was a lot of fun. Uh, and just uh, being able to learn from them, um, see how they how they mission plan, how they fly, uh, some of their like localisms um, that we can uh, can use to just like take home with us um, and use back home 